children in this video we will learn to form two digit numbers using bundles through some interesting examples children in the last class you had learned to form numbers in the groups of tens yes ma'am let us see through some examples how much you remember look there is an abacus given here you have to look at it and form a number. Lily, you tell us. In the abacus given here, in the tens box, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 beads. So, in the tens box, we have to write 7. Very good. Now, in the ones box, in the abacus, there are 1, 2 and 3 beads. So, in the ones box, we have to write 3. Well done. Now, here, in the tens box, 7 tens means 70. And in the ones box, 3 ones means 3. So, adding 70 and 3 makes it number 73. Absolutely correct. Now, how will you expand 73 into 2 parts? 73 means 7 tens and three ones meaning its two parts will be 70 and three well done now let us look at the second example look billy here we have to count one small block as one now tell me what number do all these blocks represent here in the first big block there are one two three four five six seven 8, 9 and 10 small blocks means there is 1 tens. Well done, Billy. Similarly, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 groups of 10 blocks each. So, 6 tens makes 60. Now, there are 2 small blocks which means there are 2 ones. Very good. Now, adding 2 to 60, here we have 60 and 2, giving us number 62. Now, how will you expand 62 into 2 parts? 62 means 6 tens and 2 ones. That means the 2 parts will be 60 and 2. Absolutely right, Billy. Children, you saw Lily Billy form 2 digit numbers with the help of abacus and blocks. In the next video, we will understand some interesting facts about forming two-digit numbers with the help of bundles of tens.